Hello, I'm Gary Cook. I'm a professor of molecular imaging at uh, King's College London and Guy's and St Thomas's hospitals. Um, I've been doing PET now for about 30 years and I've been helping the European Scanning Centre with the PET service here for about 15 years. I think one of the most important things is the sensitivity of the scanner which means we can detect far more gamma rays and get a much better quality image because of that and because of that we can do the scan more quickly so it's more comfortable for the patient and we can do it with a lower injected radiation dose of the scanning agent for the patient um, so it's even safer for them. The image quality is better due to a number of factors because of the, the better engineering and detectors on a digital scanner it means that we can pick up much more of the signal from the patient which makes the images less grainy, less noisy um, and much easier and better to interpret but it also means that we don't need as much radiation dose to get the same image, image quality um, for the patient. Well it supports the same as any other PET scanner but just does the job better so primar primarily on oncology patients um, either for detection of tumours when they first start, um, before and after surgery or after other types of treatment we can see how well the patients are responding to their treatment. Other disciplines uh, that we can um, take advantage of, uh, infection and inflammation imaging, if the patient has an infection but we don't know where it is then um, a PET scan is quite a good way of detecting that. And other types of scan, cardiac scans and brain scans, there are various sorts of uh, clinical indication uh, that we can perform very well with PET to, prov to provide functional imaging of those organs that standard CT scans for example wouldn't be able to do.